Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Dragon Partners, along with Bob Iacino. A couple subscriber request updates coming. Peloton, last time we did it, we had this double top, which did trigger. This, we had a little back move, did not stop it out. Coming down, first profit target hit, reacting again. Now the second profit target hit. The final one is 86.50. It's now in oversold condition, so it would not be surprised to see it bounce. And when this thing bounces, it really generally bounces pretty hard. I'd be watching the weekly. I just switched the weekly. Weekly rotation zone, uh, which you should put up the 8 EMA and 21 EMA on the weekly. That's the, the yellow and blue line, the first level. And these will move, so that's why you should put them up on your own chart. About 101, you can just roughly run the 101 to 102 area. And then above that, you have about 107 to 108. So those are your two key levels. Below 86.50, then I'd watch for 80.48. I also put the longer term levels on there. Now those longer term levels are from the major weekly top of January 11th. If you break below 80.48, uh, you might have some minor about 7530, but then I'd be watching 6915, then major cluster area 5783 to 5615 are all your longer term levels. But we've been it's been sitting in this uh, sort of sideways consolidation with a couple minor patterns in it, like that double top up there. So uh, that's going to be key that 8048 level. Again, we are in oversold, just entering it on the daily, so would not be surprised to see a bounce, especially if we get a bounce in some of the momentum stocks. Uh, market's been selling off recently in momentum, so that's what I'd be watching for. If you get a momentum bounce things like peloton will at least get out of this oversold condition probably have a quick substantial rally then i'd watch for the next rollover that's why for peloton i'll talk to everyone later bye for now